Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about distance, rate, time, word problems. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. A submarine left the Azores and traveled west. Three hours later, an aircraft carrier left traveling three miles per hour faster in an effort to catch up to it. After seven hours, the aircraft carrier finally caught up. Find the submarine's average speed. Okay. Well, we know distance equals rate times time. So we're going to set this up as distance of the submarine is equal to the rate of the submarine times the time of the submarine. And the distance of the aircraft carrier right, is equal to the rate of the aircraft carrier times the time of the aircraft carrier. And now we're going to try to plug in what? Well, we know. So the submarine first left, then three hours later the aircraft carrier left. And after seven hours, the aircraft carrier finally caught up. So the aircraft carrier was only in the water for seven hours, or traveling for seven hours. The submarine started three hours earlier, then after seven hours, the aircraft carrier caught up to it. So we combine those hours together here. Now, we don't, they don't really tell us here what the rate of the submarine is. But they tell us something about the aircraft carrier. They say the aircraft carrier was traveling three miles per hour faster than the submarine. So the aircraft carrier's rate can be written in terms of the submarine. Rate of the submarine plus three miles per hour. And that's equal to the distance of the aircraft carrier and distance of the submarine. Well, what is the distance of the submarine and the distance of the aircraft carrier? We don't know that. But what we do know is that they're going to be the same distance. Because they both left from the same place, and eventually this aircraft carrier caught up to it, and whatever that distance is, it's going to be the same. So we can set these two equations equal to each other. R of s is equal to 3 plus 7 is equal to r of s plus 3 times 7. And this actually becomes pretty beneficial here now. We only have one variable that we have to solve for, and it's a variable we're looking for. So r sub s is equal to 3 plus 7, which is 10. Distribute the 7 across right here. 7 times r of s here, and 3 times 7 is 21. Well, let's try to combine our like terms. Now this is 10 s, or 10 times r of s. If we subtract a 7 from that, it's kind of hard to see, but kind of it's flipped around, but you can imagine the 10s on the outside here. And 10 minus 7 is 3. So 3r sub s is equal to 21. Divide both sides by 3. And r sub s is equal to 21 divided by 3, which is 7, and our units is miles per hour. And there we have it. The submarine's average speed was 7 miles per hour. I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minutematutor.com